What's up everyone? Welcome back to CNC Auto Works. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. If you've been keeping up with the F-150 build, you know we got this uh, freshly rebuilt 351 put in. Uh, been working out a few little bugs. Turns out the new harmonic balance, the two new harmonic balancers that I had purchased uh, were actually off balance. We had a little vibration. Uh, got that lined out. Uh, there was a little flywheel weight situation. I didn't realize that Ford had went to a 50 ounce on the 302 and I used my 302 one. Uh, so we had to pull the transmission, put a 28 ounce flywheel in, or flywheel, flex plate and flywheel. But uh, now the other issue I had was the way I ran my uh, transmission cooler lines down here, uh, my stock shroud was hitting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ditch the uh, mechanical fan all together. We're going to get this radiator out. And I'm going to show you how to put a newer Crown Vic electric fan in this thing. Uh, the good thing about this uh, OBS F-150 is uh, the Crown Vic E-Fan pretty much fits this radiator to a T. It uh, is a little tight up here uh, on the water pump side. But uh, I'm going to show you exactly what to do to get around that situation. Uh, yes, I'm draining the radiator, but it's just pure water. Not getting any antifreeze on the ground. Don't freak out. But I'm going to get this thing out. All you do is uh, take your two radiator hoses off. Uh, take your transmission lines off that are over here on the driver's side. Take your overflow tank hose off. And then uh, you got two 10 millimeter bolts on either side. You just pop them out and uh, you get your radiator out. And I'll show you what I did to uh, figure out how to get this thing mounted. Now I've got the uh, radiator out of the truck. Got it out here laying. Uh, these are actually for the trans cooler on the other side. Put on a, put a trans cooler in it because uh, I added a stall converter when we put that 351 in. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, go ahead and pulling these factory shroud tabs off. You got the bolt ones at the top. Then you got these at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and pull them off. And then uh, I got the Crown Vic fan over here. You can kind of see that I've already done a little modifying. I uh, used to have ears right here that mounted into the Crown Vic. And uh, I just cut them off flush on both sides. And here's where it used to hit. It used to hit the water pump right here. The snout and the bolts on the water pump. The, the factory E-Fan has this little cover. And I just took an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and just buzzed around this to allow me some more room. I test fitted all this before I pulled the radiator just because I knew that I was going to have some clearance issues and uh, cutting this little cap off uh, got it all cleared up. I'm going to show you here that this thing does fit pretty much to a T. I'm going to offset it to the passenger side all the way because uh, I guess the radiator or the engine sets in the truck a little offset. And uh, if you center this, the water pump gets off to one side. So I'm going to move it all the way to one side so the water pump sets pretty much center. And I'm going to finish getting these bottom little brackets off. And then I'm going to show you the brackets that I actually made to be able to install this fan onto this radiator. Now this is how it's actually going to fit. I'm going to put it on there just like this. You can tell that it fits pretty nicely. I got me some brackets over here. I made these little L brackets. I'm just going to set these things up here like this. Drill the holes. Pop ribbit them puppies in place, 
and that fan isn't going anywhere. I like how uh, they left a lot of meat on the bottom and tops of these radiators to uh, be able to rivet to. When I done my uh, OBS Chevy, there wasn't as much meat there. Made it a little tougher, but we still made it happen. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the drill the holes and get this thing mounted. Well, we got the radiator back in here. Looks pretty factory. I think it looks really sharp. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and wire the relay up. I've kind of already started here. Uh, I ran my hot to my battery. I just, uh, instead of putting a fusible link, I just put a 20 amp breaker on there. I got my relay stuff down in here. I ain't mounted it yet. Went ahead and put a, a three wire connector on here. I just went ahead and ran, these are little lighter gauge wire. I ran all three of these just to the one hot. This is actually a, a dual stage fan. Uh, I think it uh, runs on one speed. It has like a little resistor. You hook up this wire, it'll run on one speed, a lower speed. And if you ever click on the air conditioner in the Crown Vic, it'll Throw the juice to this hotter wire and it makes it a high speed i just went ahead and went straight to the high speed and forgot about the low speed hopefully it uh doesn't burn anything up i'm not real sure how that works there's a little resistor down here in the shroud and i think it's just the resistor to cut it to half power without burning up the the fan motor but i could be wrong I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished wired up. I got my hot wire that runs to the fans here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the other side of that connector. I put that connector so uh, if I ever need to remove this, I can just unplug that. And then uh, I'm gonna hook my ground up. I'm gonna run over here to a, a factory, factory ground wires by the battery. And then uh, I've already got my temp sensor hooked up. It's already in there. And then, uh, I've got to found a ignition wire for the other side of the relay. This relay is kind of funny. The, the wires colors don't really make sense, but I already had it, so I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to get this uh, thing wired up. We're going to get some water in this poor thing, and we're going to see if this thing will kick on and off. All right, I like how it turned out. Got everything wired. I ran. I need one more connector. I'll have to finish up tomorrow. I just need one connector. I got my my sender hooked up. Got my all my fan hooked up. Got everything grounded. I got to mount my relay still. 
But uh, we got some water in it now. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up and let it come up the temp and see uh, see if it comes on. Super happy with the way this thing turned out. It fits perfectly, I think. It looks good. It looks close to stock. If you didn't know what you was looking for, you probably couldn't even tell as the E-Fan. It's a lot quieter than what you would think. Uh, with a dual exhaust, you can't even hear this thing run. Most of the time, you know, the E-Fans are pretty loud, but I can't hear it over the exhaust. It came on and I, I couldn't even hear it. I couldn't tell that it came on. I actually had to feel for the, the air. I got a couple more little things to button up. I got to get me another rivet tomorrow. I gotta give me one more wire connection. And then I need to mount my relay. I just got my relay thrown in here. Gotta go get a couple little things. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Sure appreciate everybody tuning in. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.